diversity, uh, I think it's essential. Ecosystem services are the benefits we receive from biodiversity. These services flow directly from species interactions, ecosystem processes, um, and can be identified at this, this different scales of biodiversity, the genetic diversity, species diversity, and ecosystem diversity. On farms, ecosystem services are provided both to the farm and the agricultural production Importantly, ecosystem services are also provided from the farm to the larger community. On the farm, genetic diversity provides material for crop breeders to develop varieties that will withstand drought, climate change. Um, genetic diversity also has the capacity to increase yields. Um, importantly, this is something that many farmers and organizations are trying to save, um, saving seeds, setting those aside, and maintaining uh, those varieties for future use. At a species level, it's well recognized that crop diversity allows, and in particular crop rotations, allows farmers to capture different market opportunities. Um, crop rotations improve soil health, and crop rotations can increase yields in subsequent years. Crop diversity can provide a buffer against extreme weather events or other um, unpredictable outcomes. For example, in the year, if there's a drought in one year, Having a crops in your rotation or crops planted on your farm that are resistant to drought will do well um, rather than just planting always high yield varieties that uh, have a relatively narrow range of tolerance. Pollination is an essential ecosystem service for many food crops. Biodiversity can help suppress the pests. Um, this can be in the form of insects eating other insects or birds eating insects. In addition to the right important habitat, for wildlife, windbreaks and other field buffers can increase crop yields, reduce soil erosion, and increase the aesthetic appeal of the landscape. In the same way that biodiversity provides benefits to the farmer, uh, the farm and how the farm is managed also has implications for ecosystem services in the larger landscape. So there are many ecosystem services that farms provide that farmers are unrewarded for. And one important one is the regulation of stormwater, regulation of sedimentation, and just you know, general maintenance of water quality at you know, small stream scales all the way up to larger watersheds, even if you think of the Mississippi Basin, um, how sedimentation patterns influence, in the Midwest, influence sedimentation patterns in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, maintaining cover crops, and, uh, maintaining field boundaries, maintaining perennial vegetation across your fields is an, an important ecosystem function that has many benefits beyond the farm. Farms can be a source of habitat. Um, many wildlife species and plant species uh, can thrive in farm systems. Um, and given the global extent of farmland, uh, they are an important alternative source of habitat. It's also widely recognized that farms are aesthetically appealing. Uh, we see a growth in agro-tourism where people want to go spend their vacations on the farm, they want to go pick their own berries. Designing sustainable agricultural systems requires us to acknowledge how farming practices influence biodiversity and how biodiversity can benefit and potentially harm farming systems.